Okay, my name's Justin, and I'm doing a an unboxing video of the Recon uh, 25-010H, which is a uh, plane adjoiner, a thickness adjoiner. Uh, this one I actually bought from Northern Abrasive Papers in Brookvale. So if you go down there and you speak to Rod, he'll probably be able to look after you. Uh, these are actually imported by Beyond Tools. I think they're in Western Australia. And this was probably the right one for me uh, because I only have a small workshop at the moment. So I wanted something that was relatively small, uh, but will still have the ability to do up to uh, 250 mil wide boards. All right, so here we go. See what we have here. All right, so it looks like there's a little bit of um, transit damage there to the polystyrene, but it's not too bad. It looks like the uh, the fence. Seem to be connected to anything, but looks like it's missing a nut. We'll check that out later. Okay, there's a sort of handle there. It's probably for that that fence. And there's that nut. These are only loose, I would assume, for for transit. All right, so what have we got in here? We have a couple of ring spanners, various tools, and what looks like to be other tools and some spare, uh, which looks like cutting blades. So this has a, a helical head, which is... Uh, designed to have more of a shearing action when it's cutting as opposed to a, uh, uh, a straight act of sort of like chiseling action like you would have with a normal blade. So normal blades are quite long and there's probably two or three on a, on a cutting head whereas this has lots of little blades which should give you a better finish. A little bit of damage here but I don't think it's going to be an issue. All right, so it's the polystyrene in there. You can see a little bit of damage, not too bad. We have what it looks like to be the two in feed and out feed tables. These appear to have uh, some sort of oil protection on them. There's two of those, obviously. There's also the, looks like, I think that's the dust collection hood. This is the attachment for that. All right, so there's the machine in the box. It's actually quite heavy, but I'll just tip it up there. So that's in the box. I think I'll actually tip this over onto a blanket to get it out because I'm doing this by myself. I reckon about there is pretty good. All right.
Oh, a few parts falling out there. Alright, so let's get rid of that. So it looks like these were in the bottom of the box, which is the uh, probably an adjustment handle there. And what appear to be the legs. Alright, so I'm now just going to follow the instructions, which don't appear to be in the box. So I'm going to go and print those out. So I'm going to go through the assembly and I'm just going to follow these. So See what we got here. So you'll have to excuse me while I'm putting it all together. I may not be talking, but you'll be able to see how it all goes together. I'll probably speed this bit up. So if you want to see anything, you can pause it and slow it down. Might want to get one of these little inclometers. It'll uh, allow you to basically level out the machine. What you do is you'll set it to zero. And then when you get it around to 90, it'll be, I'll show you. So some houses have multiple phases going to it. Unfortunately, I don't think mine does, but that's okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got a piece of relatively not straight pine here, which was from a, a shipping pallet. And it's, um, I've removed all the nails. Double check that. Yep, yeah, no nails. Good, and I'm going to set the guard here. Cover the blade as much as possible. So the first thing we'll do is we'll, we'll take off the bottom edge, and then we'll turn it around and we'll screw it up. We'll have a look. See there, it's taken off some here and some here. It's not flat. Good. Seems a bit rough. It's all right. Alright, 
so we'll turn that off. And we'll put it into planing mode, thicknessing mode, sorry. matter of taking the guard off. Throwing that out of place. And doing the sides. Moving the table out to the table. Not catching any dust. That's because it needs uh, active suction I think. So we'll take that off. One of my next purchases is going to be a dust extractor. We flip that over. You can see under here we've actually got quite a good amount of sawdust there. That's all right, we'll get that out of there. Remove that protective cover from the original shipping. And now we are ready for thicknessing. So, just a matter of winding the table here up to the desired amount. Okay. Just double check. Looks pretty good. All right. There it goes. Let's fit it in. I didn't take everything off that pass. That's all right. on that one. I think it's because I fed it in probably too thick. Skim that off. Not bad, huh, but inward, inward there's a little bit of snark just across here. You can see it. It's fine, just there's a little bit on the in, inward there. on one of the blades, that's all right.
Yeah, it's not too bad. Tiny, tiny bit of slot there. Alright, so turn it off. And we'll put that back into joining mode. Blades must have a chip on it. Very minimal. And it does allow you to turn them eventually. You've got four sides to each blade. Okay. These are clear of any debris. Just like this. Might be able to hear my son screaming. I think he's trying to walk up and down the stairs. Okay, I'll put that on there. That's it, that's the Rickon 25-010H with the helical head. Uh, if you like my video, please yeah, make a comment, hopefully a positive one. The next uh, task I'm going to do is try and adapt a standard vacuum cleaner to see if it'll actually work. Is a dust extractor, but it probably won't be powerful enough, but we'll give it a go.